Hi, this is Ross with DIY on the house. I've been a plumber for over 27 years and people ask, what filters should I use for my whole house water system? In today's video, I'll give you tips on how to select one. So stay tuned and watch. Hi everyone, this is Ross with DIY on the house and this is the SimPure pleated water filter. This is a four and a half by 10 and will fit in any standard four inch filter or something. Now this is a five micron water filter. It, catch, it catches rust, dirt, silt, sand, and any undissolved particles. Uh, nice thing about the pleated units that uh, they are washable. So you uh, can actually wash the filter after it's been used for a while, stick it back in, get a little more life out of it. Uh, if you buy the multi-pack, you can just go ahead and uh, dispose of this one and install a new one. It's just completely up to you. Uh, these do have a lifespan of roughly about 30,000 gallons, but that depends on also if you're on city water, uh, a shared well with a filter system, like a uh, municipality or community well, uh, and if you're on just a private well, you may go through these a lot faster depending on what it's producing, if it's producing a lot of silt or any particles coming up from uh, the well. Like I said, this is uh, most fit in any standard 4.5 by 10 housing. Uh, SimPure actually sent us a housing for an install, which we truly appreciate. They also sent us this multi-pack of filters. So I'm going to go ahead and replace a filter and I'll show you how simple it is. Okay, so here we have our SimPure 1045 water filter housing. I'm going to go ahead and replace the filter in here. and. Uh, I put a shutoff valve on the input and the output as well. That way I don't have to drain down the system. If you don't have any valves, shut your water down on the input or your well system, and then go ahead and run a uh, tap, uh, some way to alleviate any of the pressure on the system. Once you got that done, you can go ahead and start the removal. So I'm just going to shut this off on the input and output. And then there's a red button on the top that will relieve any pressure that's in the sump itself. You'll push that, you'll be able to get a little bit of water out of this. Once that water is done, the pressure is off the sump itself and you'll be able to remove it. If you have a little bit of pressure, it's gonna make it really hard to do this. So you're gonna take our wrench, and we're just gonna go ahead and open that up just a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and just spin off the sump. And we're gonna go ahead and just dump out our old cartridge and then clean our sump out from any silt or rust or whatever debris it's got in there. We want to make sure we start off with a, just a nice clean housing. All right, so we're going to take our pleated filter and on these there is no up and down, so don't worry about a arrangement of which way is up and down. We're going to slip that down. Inside the uh, sump itself there's a protrusion that peg that you're going to go ahead and slip that down on and you want to make sure your filter is just almost flush with the top. If it's up like this, then you've got a problem. You're not seated all the way in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna take our filter and we're just gonna spin it. And we're gonna rotate the housing until it's hand tight. At that point, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little bit of a turn and that'll seat in the uh, O-rings that are inside the sump. All right, so now that we have that on, I'm gonna go ahead and turn our water back on, and I'm gonna push the red button. Once I get a little bit of water out of this, I'm gonna get a little bit of air first, and then the water. And then once that's done, I can go ahead, open this valve all the way, and then slowly open up the outgoing valve. And there you have it. Wanna make sure we check for leaks. If there's none, you're good to go, and then you're prepared for the next replacement. Again, I wanna thank SimPure for sending us the uh, uh, filter housing. This is the 1045 model. If you don't have one, I suggest this is super well built, and I really appreciate that. All right, well, thanks for watching the video, and we just appreciate uh, SimPure for sending us this, this product to try out.